Cam was 16 years old when he passed away, and he was about to turn 17 in two weeks. My name is Gayla Matthews, and I'm the mother of Cameron Matthews. Cameron was a, a, a good kid. He, uh, he loved to hunt, he loved to fish, and most of all, he loved to, you know, play football. Just a typical Friday night football game. When the play was made and he got up, I could tell something was wrong with him. And I, um, you know, I nudged his dad and told him to um, go and see what was wrong with him. He held his head back, and then when he held his head back, I put my hands underneath his head, and that's when he, you know, passed out. That's when they put him on the ground. <laughs> uh, he laid over, and then when they laid him on the, the ground and started doing CPR, I was standing up over him because I didn't know, you know, anything about what to do, you know, at that time. So I thought the best thing to do was just to stay out of the way. So I was standing over him, and I could just see his spirit leave him, you know. And I just thought to myself, I said, you know, my Lord, I said, I think my son just died in front of me. It's just hard to see your brother laying in the hospital bed like that. And I, um, I remember getting in the bed with him and laying on his chest to hear his heartbeat. And I, um, I, just, I just prayed. I was like, Lord, I just pray I get to hear his heartbeat again. A representative from STA, he came in and um, talked to us about organ donation and asked if, you know, we would want to to do that. And, um, you know, the first thing that come to my mind is, you know, no, I don't. But then he said, before you say yes or before you say no, Cameron checked the box to be an organ don donor. Once we found out that Cam was an organ donor, we wanted to make sure that we upheld his wishes. If he had it in his heart to give like that, then we wanted to definitely do that. I had a LVAD put in, and that helped some. It kept me alive until I could get my heart, you know, but I didn't have no quality of life. Mr. Charlie, he got Cam's heart. Mr. Charlie, he came over to us, he hugged us, and then I rested my head on his chest and I could hear his heart again. It felt really good, because I never, I didn't think I was ever going to hear his heart again. Cameron was, I never knew, knew Cameron, but through his heart and through his family, I just can imagine what kind of a young man he was. You can see someone that was on the brink of death stand before you healthy and and with a smile on their face because of your son. I mean, that's a feeling that is just amazing. Uh, in fact, it's, it's almost as if Cam was telling us, you know, that, you know, look, I, I've, I've got to go, but I'm going to leave you something. You may not understand it at first, but you will later. I met some of the recipients um, at Cameron's Life Service, and it was just so powerful just being able to see the lives that he touched and the lives that he saved with his generous donation. If Cam couldn't live, then he wanted somebody else to live. And through organ donation, he did just that.